Um, my name's uh, Peter Ajay and um, I'm a sound designer, um, composer and I do music for architecture. So the music you're listening to is a, a sound um, composition um, which I call Sound Architecture which I've um, composed for Transcending Boundaries and um, it's called Lagos Metropolis and the concept is to um, take you to Lagos and it's field recordings of the, the, the bustle and the, the business and the sort of uh, the traffic and the, and the people and the languages and the many languages recorded um, with the help of my brother who was traveling there um, for his research. And then I've kind of layered it with ambient sounds of pianos and uh, effects to just give you that contrast between dark and light. It's sort of outer and inner peace inside, but sort of the bustle of, of the outside. And it's a continuation of a studies that I've been doing about African music post-colonialism, um, which I released an album last year called African Metropolitan Music. And that was a companion to my brother David Ajay's book called um, Africa um, Metropolitan Architecture um, on Tebbs Hudson. So the idea was to study all the most significant artists of music post-colonialism and to look at, in my case, the discovery was the availability of materials in the geographic locations that my brother had defined in his architecture book. Yes, I started off as a, a musician playing um, guitar, bass and drums when I was a little kid. Um, just a pure fascination with music. But I also love maths and I have a degree in mathematics and a degree in uh, computer engineering but I also um, always played music in jazz bands when I was in university. The three things seem to come together for me, maths and music, very naturally. And I signed to a label called Mo Wax in 93, and I released uh, quite a few records. Then started my own label in 95, released quite a few records um, as Runaways, and then as RPM on Mo Wax. And I've always done experimental soundscape music which has always been kind of defined to be cinematic. So instrumental and very sort of widescreen. Um, and I've always just felt a real um, feeling towards, um, I guess, the music kind of being the visuals. So when my brother David sort of said to me, my first project with him to do a sound installation for a pavilion in 2003, he gave me a drawing of what he wanted the sound to be. And then he gave me a piece of material that he was going to use for the pavilion, a piece of recycled wood. And literally, from looking at that picture and smelling that wood, the next day I composed the piece and gave it to him. And it was exactly what he thought it would be. I also DJ, and I DJ under AJ Kwame. And I also have a, I do a lot of African music, and I have a brand called Afri Coco.